Hello, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to learn about how to create an audiobook using Python. So in this video, you will need two packages from PyPy. So we need one package to extract text from a PDF, then another package to convert the extracted text into an audio. So the packages that we are going to use are these packages, PyPDF to and Python test to speech. So the Python test to speech package will allow us to extract any test, convert any test to an audio. Then the Python PDF over here will allow us to extract text from PDF. So that's basically all the packages that we are going to use for this package, uh, for this project. So let's, without wasting time, let's dive into the video. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a virtual environment. So now the virtual environment allows you to install all the packages that you need for a particular project. So let's say we are working on project A, we'll be able to install all the packages that we need for project A. So that way, our project A packages won't conflict with the packages that we already have installed on our system. And if there's any error or any um, issue that occurs in the virtual environment, it won't happen, it won't, it won't affect our PC or our system um, packages because it's in a virtualized environment. So we are going to use the inbuilt VMV package to create our virtual environment for this project. So to get, to create a virtual environment, navigate to your project directory and type Python. I'm going to use Python 3 to create the virtual environment. You can use either Python 2 or Python 3. I'm using Python 3. So you type Python 3 or Python, then you type dash M. Then after dash M, you press space and type V-E-N-V. V-E-N-V. Then you type the name of your virtual environment. So over here, I'm using project V-E-N-V. So Python 3 or Python dash M. VEMV is the inbuilt package that we are using to create our virtual environment in this project. Then we are we are saying our virtual environment should be called project VEMV. Once you are done with this, we hit enter. So our virtual environment has been created for us. So if I type, I type LS, I should see a folder called project VEMV. So as you can see, we have this um, folder created for us. Now let's go into the folder and see what's inside. So you see into the folder, you type project, you list. So we have Ben, include, library, Python, all these things are stuff that you don't um, want to tamper with. Um, they are files that has been included by default for you. So don't need to do any editing or any kind of, don't need to touch it. So what we are going to do is to activate the virtual environment so that we can start installing our packages. So to activate the virtual environment, you need to type source, then followed by the name of your virtual environment. So you don't need to type everything. You just type um, two of three letters, then you hit the tab key to autocomplete for you. So after typing this, you hit, you type pen, then press tab to autocomplete for you. Then there is a file called activate. So if I hit enter, watch here. So if I hit enter, as you can see, there is, I now have a new terminal with virtual project VMV in a, in a, in a bracket. So this is telling us that our virtual environment has been created and activated for us. So we can now start installing packages in the virtual environment. So now what we are going to do is we are going to install the packages that we need for this project. So the first package that we will install is py pdf and the command is here so i'm going to use pip install py pdf2 so i'll come to my terminal and type paste this command here okay so the first um, package has been installed so let's grab the second page and install it so we are going to copy this one so let me clear the screen paste it here so pip install py, Python text to speech version three.
Okay, so now all our packages have been installed. So we can now proceed to um, write the code. So let me open this folder in VS Code. Yes, yeah, so we only have just one folder, which is the virtual environment. So we need to create a file um, for this project. So we are going to, I'm going to create a new file called app.file. So I hit enter. If I go to, if I go to VS Code, I should see a new file created. So app.file is here. So the first thing that we need to do is to import our packages. So import packages. So the first package we are going to import is the Python test to speech package. So we will import it by using the import keyword. So import then pi test to speech. Let's do it like this. So pi t t s x three. So that's how you import the package. The next import that we are going to do is to bring in the package to extract text from our PDF. So the name of the package is pi PDF two. And again, you don't need to um to like you can just go to the documentation and see how they how to import the package. So from the documentation, they said this is how you install the package. But if you are importing, you can import it like this, by PDF or this way. So, and the same way, the same applies to the Python test to speech. So this is how we import. So you can actually, you can come here and import the, um, the import uh, statement if you don't want to get any error. So you copy that one and paste it here. So now we have our two packages imported. So we need to first of all, do one of few stuff to uh, test whether the code is working. So I'm going to test whether the, uh, the test to speech is actually working. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a variable called speaker to initialize our Python test to speech. So I will do speaker is equal to pi, which is this variable over here. Let me copy and paste. Dots in it. So this will initialize our speaker for us. So to test whether this thing is working, we need to type something. Speaker.c. So we have a variable, we have a method in um, this variable called c. Now, this say what it does is you pass in any test, then it will say it for you, it will convert it to an audio for you. So I want to, I want this one to say, welcome to opening tag. So that's what I wanted to say. I want to say, welcome to opening tag, welcome to opening tag. So let me run the code and see what we will get. So I'm going to run this code in the terminal. You can also run it in your VS code. It doesn't matter where you run the code. You should get the same output. So Python, then followed by the name of the file. Okay, so we forgot something. Now, before you get this one to actually work, we need to, we need one thing. Like there is one thing that we forgot to do. You need to call the speaker variable, then you tap on the run and wait method. So, so it's like we've specified this one, but we have not called, we've not instructed um, the speaker to actually run. So this is what we need to do. We have a speaker, then run, run and wait. So let's go back to the code. Then let's try it again. Welcome to opening tag. So as you can see, it is saying welcome to opening tag. You can change the text to anything. Hope you are enjoying. Video. So let's run it again. Python then up the pie. 
hope you are enjoying this video. Yes, you are enjoying this video. So yeah, so this, you just need the sterilize of code to get the uh, test to speech working. But in this video, we are not going to just, I mean, do this hard code uh, test and um, let the test to, piece, test to speech um, engine say it, but we are going to extract a text from a PDF, then we'll pass a test to this uh, method to um, convert it to audio for us. So I'm going to clear all this stuff. Then I will leave just this one. Now, what we need to do is to bring in a PDF that I want the test to, the PDF uh, package to extract for us. So I'm going to get a PDF from my laptop. So I have a PDF over here. Let me open the PDF. Okay, so I have a PDF called Jenkins.pdf. So I'm going to open, copy this PDF and paste it inside inside this uh, this folder. So I'm going to use open dots to open the folder. So I'm going to paste the folder over here. So let's go to the so as you can see, we have um, the folder, the PDF file has been added to our files. So the next thing that we need to do is to open, because this is a, this is a binary file, this is a file, we need to um, open the file for reading. So to open the file for reading, we will create a variable called PDF reader. Then we'll say it's equal to then pi PDF. F2, which is this package over here. So let me paste it so that we don't get in here. Then dot. So it has a method called PDF file reader. So PDF file reader. So the PDF file reader takes. So inside the PDF file reader, we are going to open the PDF file for read access. So I'm going to pass the name of the PDF, which is Jenkins.pdf. Then we are going to specify the mode for read, so RB. So that's all that we need to do over here. So we, create a, we created a variable called PDF reader. Then we call the PI PDF um, package. Then inside the PI PDF, we are getting the PDF file reader method. Then inside this, we are opening this file for reading. So that we can actually get read the content in the file in the PDF file and extract to the test. So that's all we need to do to um, open the file for read. So what now we can do over here is to check what check the number of um, pages that the PDF has. So we can do this by printing this variable PDF reader dot num pages. So the PDF reader it has a method called num pages. So this one will get us the number of pages inside the PDF. So let's run the code and see the number of pages inside the PDF. So I'm going to type Python app.py. Okay, PDF reader is not defined. Let me see. Okay, I made that. So it's supposed to be capital R. So let's run the code again. So it's saying it has 39 pages. Let's confirm. So let's open the PDF and see whether it has 39 pages. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, it has 39 pages. So it's right. You can actually pass this to um, the speaker to actually say it for us. So we can say speaker.c. It should say, let's make it a formatted string. So it should say that I have then we add the number of pages. I have PDF reader dot num pages, then pages. So let's try again. So to say I have 39 pages. So let's try again. I run the wrong command. So let's run the code again. Wow, 
has no attribute in pages. So I made an error. So it's supposed to be capital P. So mind you, these are inbuilt um, properties. So if you make a mistake, you make a typo, it's going to return an error. So let's try it again. Seems that it didn't work. Yes, it didn't work because we haven't, we didn't call the run and wait um, run speaker dot run and wait. So this one should do the job for us. So if you go back again, I have 39 pages. Yes, so it's saying it has 39 pages. So until you call this, it's never going, it's not going to. Um, you're, going to, you're not going to hear anything. So this line of code is very key. If you want to um, hear whatever um, the speaker is saying or the engine is saying, yes. So now that we know the number of pages inside the PDF, we are going to do something. We are going to loop through all the pages and start reading from page one. So what we are going to do is we can set a for a for loop. Then we will say that for page number in range, in range what? So we are going to use the number of pages. And as we were able to, in, our, in the code that we wrote earlier, we we're able to get the num pages from this variable. So I'm going, to, I'm going to copy this variable. Then I will tack on the num pages property. So this one will get us a num page. So we are saying that for, Page number in range, page PDF reader dot num page number num pages. It should do something. So what we want to do is to get the test from the PDF. So to get a test, we set a variable called test is equal to PDF reader, which is this variable. Let me copy it again, so I don't get any error. Dot get page. So this is a, um, a property that we need to pass. Now the get page needs an argument. The argument is supposed to be, the argument that we need to pass is the number of, uh, the page number that we need to, uh, we want to get the test from. So over here, since we are running it in a loop, um, for each loop, the number of the page number will change. So if, if you are on page one, it will get the page number, uh, the page number, the page, the test on page one, and it will assign it to this variable. Then after getting the page number, we need to call a property called extract, extract test. Yeah, so that's all we need to do over here. So we are getting the page number, then we are extracting the test from that page number. So the next thing that we need to do is to call our speaker. So that was our speaker will say the test for us. So, what should we say? We want it to say the test that it extracted from that particular page. So we are going to pass this variable to the say um, property. Then the next thing that we need to do is to call speaker dot run and wait because we want to actually hear what the listener is reading. So run and wait. Then so run and wait. Now because we are running it in a loop, we need to end by saying speaker dot stop so so that so when a loop ends it should actually stop the engine from running so that's all that we need to do right now um so we are going to run the code and see if this will work so i will type python app dot power again jenkins number jenkins okay it's actually reading for us table of contents about one chapter one Getting started with Jenkins 2 remarks 2 versions 2 Jenkins 2 Jenkins 1.x versus Jenkins 2.x 2 examples 3 installation 3 upgrading Jenkins RPM oh. installations 3 setting up and Jinx proxy 4 installing plugin from external source 5 move Jenkins from one PC to another 5 configure a project in Jenkins 5 Jenkins full introduction in one place. So um, it's actually reading a page from uh, number 1. You can specify whether to start from page 5 or page 10. So let me, let's say you want to read from page 5. So we start from page 5 then we start reading. So let's see what's on page five. So page five has chapter one, getting started with Jenkins. So if I run the code again, to start reading from page five. For a full overview of what Jenkins 2 adds to Jenkins, please refer to Jenkins 2 overview. 
Also, the full change log is available from Jenkins' website. Examples installation for apt-get based systems such as Ubuntu at the Jenkins repository, widget QO, https colon slash slash jenkins ci.org slash debian slash jenkins ci.org dot key, sudo apt key sudo shc echo deb, http colon slash slash pkg dot jenkins ci.org slash debian dash stable binary greater than slash etc. So, yeah, so it's actually reading the, uh, the page for us. So, that's what you need to do. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is to convert the audio into um, into a file, like actually read the, get an audio file of whatever the Indian will read. So what we need to do is to create a variable to hold our test property over here. Then it is supposed to be an empty string. So over here, we will just add plus to append whatever Pay that we get into this variable. Now, under this property, or under, under this line of code, we are going to save the result to a file. So we'll type speaker dot save underscore to underscore file. Then you pass the name of the test that you, so in our case, the test that we're going to use is the extracted test. And we have a variable that is holding the extracted test right over here. So this one is initially it's empty, but once we enter the loop, um, the PDF reader is going to extract the test from every page and it will assign it to this variable. So we are going to append this um, test to this one. So that's why, so at the end of the day, we'll be able to get the extracted test in this um, variable. So we are going to pass this variable as an argument to this property or this, this property, then we will pass the name of the audio that we want to use. So we want to use audio.mp3. Then we type speaker.run and wait. Run and wait. So yeah, that's all that we need to do. So if you do this, we'll be able to, it will be able to read all the pages for us. Then it will convert no, it's converted to an audio so that you can later click on it and listen to it. So that's all that we need to do for um, this video. Jenkins number Jenkins. So Jenkins number Jenkins table of contents about one chapter one. Getting started with Jenkins two remarks two versions two Jenkins two Jenkins one got X versus Jenkins two dot X two examples. So I'm going to pause this one because it actually has 39 pages. So until the page is done, you're not going to see the file. Um, until the page is done, you're not going to see the mp3 file because it has 39 pages. It has to go through all the 39 pages, then extract the page, append it to this variable, and um, input it in a, an mp3 format. So that's all for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.